So many artists believe that the only opportunities that exist for them are the ones that are advertised, right? So they wait for a gig and, uh, and they say, oh, maybe there's not that much work for clarinetists around here. Maybe there, there is a certain amount of work, but there are so many people competing for those positions that it's very difficult. And, and, and there's, I mean, that's great. If there's an opportunity that exists, why not take it? But I think a great opportunity is to look for them where they do not currently exist. And that's one thing that leaders can do is to create a new opportunity. Opportunities are everywhere, but opportunities only belong to people who take them. And one of the great things about, you know, if you think about it like this, if there are 10 opportunities in a given market and you take one of them, right, there are only nine opportunities that remain. So you've shrunk the number of opportunities that are there for artists. But if there are 10 opportunities and you add one, then you've made that kind of world bigger. So that's one of the approaches I would just recommend on a very basic level is look for opportunities you can create and look for opportunities where they don't currently exist or at least not obvious places. You know, I've had a lot of people express to me this week, you know, well, I'm this idea that I have to work my way up and I have to, you know, you have to take these, these low level opportunities and then you, and then you step up to the next rung and then you step up and then ultimately the goal is after five years or after seven years or after 10 years, then you get the really good opportunities. And of course it's possible. And there are some people that follow that formula and get there. But so often, the most difficult way to solve any problem is to try and do exactly what everyone else is doing. So in my own life, rather than, 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 than kind of working my way up the ladder, I like to say, how could I start at the top? How can I solve this problem in a way that nobody else is solving it? So in a world where everyone is performing at a certain type of venue, that's the kind of place I might try not to, not to look and I would go somewhere else. When everyone approaches uh, applying for a job in a particular way, I'm gonna try and do something, something else. And one of the great things is that, you know, for artists nowadays, I mean, it's double-edged sword like anything. We live in a flat world, right? It is no more expensive for an independent artist that nobody knows about to put out a video, to put out a website, than a major, major corporation. The, 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 the challenge today is not about distribution. It's not about access. It is about attention, right? In a world where millions of sources are constantly competing for attention, how do you break through the clutter? And usually the way is to do something else. So I hear a lot of people give the advice that, well, you know, why don't you take clues from what your competitors are doing? Look at the trends. And I think savvy artists also look at the trends, but not to learn what to do, but to learn what not to do. A musical leader is someone with the courage and the audacity to challenge the status quo and find another way of looking at the problem. 